much better. Anyway, like I was saying, it's getting very close to Halloween, and I realized I couldn't find any of JoJo's bandanas. So I figured I'd show you how to make one. I also figured I'd make a mask for me that matches, so if you want to see how I did that, click up here. The first thing you're going to need to do is take a couple measurements, so measure around the widest part of your dog's neck, and then measure down about how long you want the bandana to hang. If your dog is a fashionista, let her choose her own fabrics. Add a few inches to the first measurement you took so you'll be able to tie it around your dog's neck when you're finished. And I wanted her bandana to be 10 inches long. Make sure your fabric is folded in half and cut across the diagonal. That will give you your two triangles. Open them both up and place them right sides together. Now we're going to stitch around the entire thing using a quarter inch seam allowance. Make sure you leave an opening to turn it right side out. Here's a spooky Halloween story while you're watching me sew. So my birthday is right around Halloween, and when I was a little girl, oftentimes I'd have a Halloween themed birthday party. After one particular party, my parents asked me to go downstairs and clean up. I noticed a large black plastic spider on the floor, so I picked it up to put it away, and it turned out it was real. And it freaked out, and I freaked out, and I've hated those things ever since. Trim down all the corners. And then turn it right side out. You may need to use something pointy to poke out the corners. Press everything nice and flat. And then top stitch about an eighth of an inch away from the edge. That will give it a nice finished look, as well as close up that opening where we turned everything right side out. You may need to use something to help feed the fabric through on the corners. And that is all there is to making a reversible dog bandana. These are so quick and easy to make and a perfect beginner sewing project. Make one for every season! And don't forget to check out my tutorial on how to make a coordinating mask. I like to roll the top down before I tie it on her, that way you can see both patterns at once.